Carrie has still got me beat on that, that bass there. This song, uh, man, I'm so honored to be here tonight. You know, after the past year we've had, everywhere I am that I'm around people, I am, thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, every second, every second. And I hope I always stay like that. I hope we all do for the rest of our life. Just, it makes us so thankful to be, in, you know, around each other. Uh, thankful to be down here in Rick Hall country. And I know Carrie and you and a lot of the others uh, had, had a lot of great time with Rick. I know he's from, you know, a little bit south of here, but kind of, kind of in this area. Lived in Russell and Littleville for a long time. When I was about 21 years old, I got a call from Rick Hall at the little radio station I was working on, working at. Uh, Marty Darby Bedford, y'all know her, she's from the area here. And you know, you know, Jadonna Bowen, they were working there and uh, I was the Mr. DJ. I was playing stuff like Bananarama Venus, y'all remember that song? I don't know why, why I remember that one. Playing those pop songs of the early 90s. and. Uh, Rick gave me a call. He had heard I was writing some songs and wanted to know if I wanted to come over and be a songwriter at Fame. I, you know, 21, I think I could have quit the music business when I first started because I got to sign a songwriting deal with Rick at Fame. Stayed there 11 years. This is the first song I ever had recorded and Rick produced it. Marty Rabin, Mike McGuire, and the gang of Shenandoah cut it. And I was working then at a little station in Lexington, Alabama, sitting in a cotton field up there. That, this time I was playing country records, you know, like Eddie Raven and Slim Whitman and Ferlin Husky. Y'all remember some of those guys, some of those cool cats? But uh, Rick called me that day and I was working on the air, little radio station, and I got to go over and hear Shenandoah record this song. Like I say, again, I could have quit when I started and been a happy man, you know. He owns a big estate south of Savannah and a high-rise hotel in downtown Atlanta at the state of Georgia his name she'd be set for life and his colonial man laid the world at her feet on a silver flat but all I had to offer was the moon
sky.